I'm a professional fish harvester. I fish out of Notre Dame Bay in Newfoundland and Labrador. My name is Trevor Jones. I've been fishing for over 30 years. I've lived and worked through the cod moratorium. I've watched our fishery change in ways you could never have imagined. What has happened to our macro fishery makes me question whether our fishery is being managed out of existence. Because DFO does not see how much macro is here in Newfoundland and Labrador waters. In July of 2022, Minister Joyce Murray made the decision to close the Atlantic macro fishery. 2022 was a banner year for macro abundance around the province. Harvesters reported more macro in Newfoundland and Labrador than we have seen in decades. This wasn't one or two harvesters in a few bays for a few days. This was harvesters from Labrador to White Bay to Notre Dame Bay to Bonavista, Trinity and Conception Bays and around the south and west coast. Mackerel were in our waters in abundance from July, and now in January we're still getting reports of some around, which is completely unheard of. When we fish mackerel or other pelagics like caitlin or herring, we look for aggregations or bunches of fish using our sounders and sonars. Our estimates of how much fish is in an area is based on the number of schools and the size of the aggregations. We wanted to show DFO an example of just how much mackerel was there. We had three vessels, each picked one day, to locate and document aggregations of mackerel on the west and northeast coast. Every season, we set our sonars and sounders to the same settings and calibrations. Spending our lives on the water, we learn to judge the volumes of schools. We determine the size of a school or the volume of the school by its width, its depth, and its length. By adjusting our equipment, tilting up and down at different angles while looking at a school of fish, we can measure how big the school is. So when I look at images like this, I can calculate how far out it goes, how dense it is, and estimate that there could be over 150,000 pounds of macro here. These are random guesses, and I wouldn't have been able to make these estimates back when I started fishing macro 30 years ago. But we built up that wealth of knowledge over time, and after reading our sonars and sounders, and after hauling countless sets of macro, we are able to make those estimations with a very small margin of error. Last year, it was incredibly frustrating to see the abundance of mackerel and to have the fishery close. But harvesters from this province have been saying for years that this assessment of the stock is missing the boat. As an example, fish harvesters in White Bay, Green Bay and Notre Dame Bay began observing increased instances of pencil or young of the year mackerel starting about 10 years ago. Year after year, we are seeing more and more of these pencil mackerel all along the northeast coast of Newfoundland. When DFO started to become concerned about the Atlantic macro stock is when we started seeing more and more pencil mackerel in our waters. This leads me to believe the spawning biomass has moved away from the Gulf of St. Lawrence. This matters because DFO stock assessment is based on the assumption that the bulk of the stock spawns in the southern Gulf of St. Lawrence. Why then has there been a steady increase in young of the year mackerel on the northeast coast of Newfoundland? We reported our observations at assessment and management meetings. We sent samples to, of mature mackerel and young of the year mackerel to DFO. What we are seeing on the water does not match DFO's assessment of the mackerel stock. What we are seeing on the water is a shift in the distribution, the timing and sizes of macro in our waters. 
We believe this is not being taken into account in the assessment and management of the stock. When Minister Murray closed the fishery, it was a blow to the inshore fishery in Newfoundland and Labrador. The macro fishery is an important part of my enterprise and we certainly felt the difference without it. We've been fishing macro for decades. It's one thing to close a fishery down when it's doing poorly, as was the case with the Northern Cod Moratorium in 1992. But with macro, it just doesn't add up. In 2022, the commercial macro fishery was closed, but we have never, ever seen more macro off our shores. Fish harvesters who've been fishing 40 or 50 years have never seen anything like it. While fish harvesters were fishing cod this fall, they observed huge amounts of macro in Guinness and witnessed multiple schools of macro on a daily basis. The biomass of the Atlantic macro stock is being underestimated. It's a gap in science that hurts our livelihoods and our communities. When fisheries are closed instead of conducting the needed science. My two sons are in the fishery now as well, and I know there can be a future for them in this industry, and for their children after them, if this industry is managed in the right manner. It was fishermen who first signaled the Northern Cod Crisis long before science caught up and acknowledged we were right all along. Our profession has come a long way in the time since. It's been years, but our observation and knowledge are still being ignored. We are more than just harvesters, and this is more than just a job. I am invested in protecting those resources to benefit generations to come.